we're going to blow up a chicken's egg. The first thing you need to do is evacuate the egg. You can do this by drilling two holes and using an air line to blow the egg out. Once the egg's empty, we need to fill it with hydrogen. We need to make absolutely sure we've flushed out all the air from the egg so that it's flammable rather than explosive when we first light it. We put our finger over the hole in the top and take it off again. When I've got my finger on, the hydrogen and air get forced out of the bottom hole. When I take my finger off, they're allowed out of the top hole. For a chicken's egg, 45 seconds is optimum. So the hydrogen is turned off. You need to use one of these type, spiral type egg cups. You can't use a solid egg cup because there needs to be a space for oxygen to enter the egg. So on the count of three, three, two, one. I hit a pop, the egg's lit. We step away from the egg. You can see the top of the egg is going brown from the flame. It'll start burning at low oxygen tensions. And once the hydrogen, which rises, starts pulling in air, the mixture becomes explosive. Health and safety issues include a loud noise, and in this case, there'll be some eggshell shrapnel, so the pupils should be standing at least three metres away from it if you're not using a safety shield. We can do better than that, though. This is an ostrich egg. You need to prepare your ostrich eggs. These are provided evacuated with one hole in them. We need to drill a hole in the top and widen the hole in the bottom. The key issue with drilling the egg is not to put too much weight on it, because once you rupture the surface, um, it's very easy for the drill to carry on and break the top of the egg, and you've then ruined your egg. Sometimes you find that there's some membrane from the inside of the egg, so you can use a drill bit, a paper clip, or a screw just to make sure that the membrane's completely away from the hole. We now need to look at the hole in the bottom. We use a multi-tool with a corundum stone of about half a centimetre in diameter. We've now got a nice uniform hole into which the hydrogen adapter will fit snugly. To do the experiment, you need a retort stand, a ring, and a safety shield that we've made from two fire grates which have been cable tied back to front together. So, we're inserting um, the adapter into the egg. Once again, I've got my finger over the hole. It's essential that all the air is flushed out of the egg because if it's lit when there's some oxygen in there, you can get um, a reduction in the number of fingers you have. All done, Dave? Nearly. At this point, you need to look around to the class and the audience and make sure everyone's got their fingers in their ears, issue clear instructions, and also everyone's standing a safe distance away. I'm going to get Dave to bring the safety shield down. It's essential that the shield covers my face. We're going to light it in three, two, one. It's lit. There's a flame. We're stepping away. Fingers in our ears. What a huge detonation. 130 decibels at three metres. The incredible explosive power of hydrogen. <laughs>